Hello, hello. Welcome to the class. Hi, Diana. Hi, Beatriz. Welcome back, Beatriz. Okay. <laughs> William, Luis, Karen. Welcome, Karen. Miss Pies, Veronica, welcome. It's a pleasure. Welcome, Cindy. Mr. Mercado Sanchez, Alejandro, it's a pleasure. And we have Lucia, right? And Miss Magaña Ortiz, Alejandra, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to see you. Okay, let's start with the class right now, immediately, right? Let me share with you. Okay. PowerPoint presentation, basic one. This is class number eight, right? Class number eight. Just give me a second. It's opening, 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 right? Tonight we are going to continue using the platform. Vamos a seguir usando la plataforma, right? Because still there are some difficult exercises that we are going to, to practice together, right? I have a message. It says, hi, teacher. Okay, Cindy, hello, welcome. Okay, now let me share. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new class. Today is October 4th, October 4th, right? This is class number eight. Uh -huh. And the topic is daily routines, activities, daily routine activities. We're going to make a practice, right? Ready? Now, the ob what is the objective for tonight? Karen, please, can you read the objective for tonight? Tell me, teacher. Read, please. Léame el objetivo. Please, read. I will be able to ask partners questions about someone else's daily routines and say what they do uh, slash done. Uh -huh. Okay, good. So, daily routines. What do you do every day, right? What do you do or what you don't do? Right? Okay, good. Let's continue. Now, here we have how to make yes, no question in the simple present. Remember, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? Do you like pizza? That's of course delicious, right? Pizza, right? Hmm? Who say pizza? I like pizza. But I also like cats. Cats are delicious. Yum. Dino, please. Don't eat cats. Cats are not good for you. Yes. Okay, now. And here we have another example. Does she live in La Union? Remember that with third person singular, he, she, and it, we don't say do, we say does, right? Okay, good. Now, and these are the auxiliaries. And remember, you have to memorize this. Do is for I, you, we, and they. And does is for he, she, and it. Do is for I, you, we, and they. And does is for he, she, and it, right? Okay. Now, look at the examples. How to make yes, no question. Do I ask for assistance? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you ask for assistance? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Etc. etc. right? And for the third person singular, we say, does he ask for assistance? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does... Veronica asks for assistance. Yes, she does. 
No, she doesn't. Does William ask for assistance? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Notice that you don't say, yes, he has. Yes, he has. No, no. Yes, he does. We use the auxiliary, right? Okay, these are the general questions. Yes, no question, right? Ta -da! Now, we're going to make an exercise here, right? Uh, okay, the purpose for this is to make sentences look affirmative. The next one, negative. And the next one, question, right? So what are we going to do? Listen, these are activities that are related to your companies, right? Activities that are related with the company. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sentences, affirmative sentences, right? So I need uh, a secretary in the group. We're going to make three groups. And I need a secretary in, in every group, right? Okay, let me explain. The first one, know the policies, know the regulations, help workers, help people, help the company, advertise the company, design softwares, develop softwares, answer the phone, make phone calls. Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Know the policies. Know the regulations. Help workers. Help people. Help the company. Advertise the company. Design softwares. Develop softwares. Answer the phone. Make phone calls. Um, let me see um, chico por aquí tengo a uh, un, una chica que tiene problemas con internet eh, no sé si me escuchan bien ustedes Karen me escucha bien o oh, se oye entrecortado sí, me escucha bien ah ok no, eh, uh, Alejandra usted me escucha bien Sí, teacher ya yes, teacher se ve bien ok Bueno, yes. no sé si es, es el internet de Beatriz, sorry. Que aleje un poquito el celular, que a veces eso es Ah, yes. El celular, que lo aleje un poquito. Y si quiere, desconecte la cámara, Beatriz. ¿Dónde está Beatriz? Ah, sí, desconectó la cámara. Sí. Ok. Espero que se le mejore. Ok. Bueno, sigamos entonces. Ok, good. So, group number one is going to make affirmative center. El grupo número uno me va a hacer oraciones afirmativas. Ok. Example. ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer el grupo uno? Ok, uno de los trabajos de los jefes, más que todo, es conocer las políticas de policies de cada compañía, right? O no the regulation, right? Eh, other uh, work eh, is help worker, right? Ayudar a los trabajadores, right? Or help people. So what are you going to do? You're going to make like this. I know the policies. Yes? You know the regulation. He helps workers. My brother 
help people. Right? My brother help people. Like this, right? So you're going to make affirmative sentences. Me va a hacer oraciones afirmativos con varios sujetos. Yes? No me voy a poner I know, I know, I help, I advertise, I design. I, I, I. No, no. I, you, he, she, they, etc., etc. Right? Good. Group number two, right? Y el grupo número dos, ¿qué me va a hacer? Veamos qué va a hacer el grupo número dos. Write reports, send reports, send emails, arrange meetings, carry boxes, carry products, keep track, repair computers, ask for assistance. El grupo número dos me va a hacer oraciones negativas. For example, look. I don't write reports. She doesn't. Send reports. They don't send emails, etc., etc., etc. Right? Okay, me van a hacer oraciones negativas. Okay, simple present. Yes? Good. Now repeat after me, please. Write reports. Send reports. Send emails. Arrange meetings. Carry boxes. Carry products. Keep track. Repair computers. Ask for assistance. Okay, so these are the examples of group number two. Este va a ser el grupo número dos. Negative, right? And let's go to the questions. Install product, pro, program, sorry, sell products, exchange information, buy new mer merchandise, receive money, decide what to buy, transport products, and fix car, right? Good. Repeat after me, please. Install programs. Sell products. Exchange information. Buy new merchandise. Receive money. Decide what to buy. Transfer products. Fix cars. Okay, so what are you going to do? Group number three, you're going to make questions. Look, install program, right? Instala programas en computadora. Do you install programs? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Sell products. Does she sell products? Exchange information, right? Does Veronica exchange information?
Okay, good. So you're going to make questions, question, right? Okay, understand? Good. Now, do you have questions about the meaning? Hay preguntas del significado de estas actividades? How do you say regulations in Spanish, for example? How do you say advertise in Spanish? Yes? Questions? Tienen preguntas, chicos? No questions? Okay, next one. Questions? Carry, for example, llevar, keep track, llevar control, registro, llevar registro, keep track. Write reports, escribir reportes. Yes, it's clear? Okay, good. Let's go to the last one. Questions? Good. Now, let's do it together. But first, I will pass the attendant, right? Antes que nada, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Give me a second. Here's the list. Yes. Ready? Say present, please. Alejandra? Present, teacher. Thank you. Cindy? Claudia? Present. Thank you. Diana? Present. Grecia? Present. Carmen? No, no, no. Karen, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, Karen. Present. Thank you. Present. Carla? Thank you. Carla? Beatriz? Lucia? Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Present. Thank you, Luis. And then we have uh, Veronica. Present. Alejandro. Present. Thank you, Alejandro. Nuria. Present. Thank you. Paola. Paola Esmeralda. Okay, William. I'm here. Thank you. Wilson. Mr. Hernandez Lopez. Wilson. Hmm. Okay, very good. And then I have a message here. Okay, press and say Cindy, right? That's okay. Now let's make the groups. And let's start with the first one, right? Good. Pay attention, please. Pay attention, right? I will say this in Spanish. Right? Good. El grupo número uno me va a hacer un screenshot de este listado, ¿ok? Cosas que se hacen en la compañía, en el trabajo, right? So, listen to who is group number one. ¿Quiénes son los chicos del grupo número uno? Cindy, Grecia, Luis, y Verónica. Solo estos chicos me van a hacer un, una captura de pantalla y me van a hacer oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? ¿Understand? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Ok. Group number one, Cindy, Grecia, Luis, and Veronica, right? Name a secretary, please. Nombre un secretario en el grupo, secretaria, y el que vaya escribiendo, ¿ok? Afírmate. Recuérdense que vamos a usar varios sujetos. I, you, he, they, Pedro, María, Juan, etcétera, etcétera. 
Did you make the screenshot? Me hicieron la captura de pantalla, chicos. Okay. Now, group number two. El grupo número dos me va a ser de estas oraciones, oraciones negativas. Don't and doesn't. I don't, she doesn't. I don't write reports, she doesn't write reports. They don't write reports. Eh, my brother doesn't write reports. Peter lies, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't write reports, etc. ¿Quiénes me van a hacer esto? Alejandra, Alejandro, Nuria, and William. Háganme captura de pantalla, chicos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Capture pantalla. Yes. Group number two. I say. Alejandra and Marvin Alejandro. Nuria and William. Right? Yes. Ok. Me van a hacer oraciones negativas. Nombre un secretario. Y ya. Comenzamos. Sí. Group number three, please. Al grupo número tres le toca lo más difícil. Preguntas. Pregúntale. Right? Claudia. Diana. Karen and Lucia. Name a secretary, please. No, nombre una secretaria o secretario. Bueno, en el caso del grupo 3, pues solo hay chicas. Entonces, sería una secretaria. Yes. And make yes, no question. Me van a hacer preguntas de sí y no. Do you? Does he? Do they? Does Firulais? Etc. Right? Háganme la captura de pantalla, por favor, chicos de la, del grupo 3. Yes, ready? Okay. The last one. Capture pantalla grupo 2. Ya la tienen? En group number 1. El grupo número 1, right? Capture pantalla, please. I will repeat the, the groups. Cindy, Grecia, Luis, and Veronica, group number 1. Alejandra, Alejandro, Nuria, and William, group number two. And Claudia, Diana, Karen, and Lucia, group number three, right? Ready? ¿Estamos listos? Here we go. A trabajar, chicos. Karen, please go to group number three. Karen, vámonos al grupo tres, por favor. Yes, thank you. Entonces. Uh -huh. Okay. Pero uno el que me dice la pregunta es no me conecte que no puedo hacer la segunda dice no ver Any question? Any question? Is no. it on? 
¿Hicieron la captura de pantalla, Luis? Sí, sí. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí. Continuo, continuo. Le ponemos day. They know the regulation. Ya sería con she. Sí, llegámoslo con she. Ya fue con she. Para usar las dos, digo yo. Vaya. Sería she. She doesn't. She doesn't. Then email. Emails. Mm -hmm. eh, no sé. ¿Alguien más opina de mí? ¿Mm? She doesn't sí. in... No. She, she doesn't in... email. Send email. Email. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Le agregamos complemento de algo más o así. Yo digo, she doesn't send emails on Sunday, que no envía correos los domingos. Los domingos. Arrange this meeting. Por el du, por el you. Ajá. Do you? Do you? Do you? Sí. Lo podemos dejar este. Do we? Ellos, inter... Ellos intercambian información. Sería cuatro. Sí, el número cuatro. A new merchandise. New merchandise. Es mercancía esa esa palabra. Eh, sí, sería como o, comprar, o mercadería. Comprar nueva mercadería. mercancía. Mercancía, sí. Mercancía. Mercancía. Eh, Mundo y otra vez. Do you buy new merchandise? ¿Compras tú nueva mercadería? O lo ponemos poner como con... No, ¿verdad? Porque bien feo va a comprar... Sí. Le, le iba a decir como comprar uno, pero no, o sea, uno para hacerse la pregunta es lo que había dicho la vez pasada, que se ve como raro, ¿verdad? Se escucha Ajá, raro. Do I, do I. Ajá. No, mejor do you. Do you. Do you. Do you buy new merchandise, new... Sí, merchandise. Oh, yo estoy aquí. Does, does she receive money? Or does he receive money? Podemos poner el ship porque no lo hemos puesto. Ah, va. Does she receive? Receive money. Receive money. Pero toda la visita, la visita por la revista. 
de la de la yo tengo en digital para este programa la seis es como no decidir uno qué comprar. ¿El cuál? La seis. Six. 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 Puede ir como la de Do you también. Do you decide what to buy? Los designs. Designs. Mm -hmm. software 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 de que podría, usar un nombre de ella. De ella. De ella. ¿Está mal? Sí. Como eso. No. Por Dios, lo siento. Disculpe, señor. Sí. Hola. Mi nombre es de ella. Oh, estamos. No, no, no. 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 Te dije que Dejemos. iba en la dirección incorrecta. Que casi no escucho. Seguro no nos entendió. Necesitamos salir. ¿María? I will turn off the, the microphone. Voy a apagar todos los micrófonos y después los encendemos. No se preocupe. ¿sí? Llamaré a uno. No. Y me hace no, no, no. Pero no se nos afuera, no te preocupes. No, no, no. Créanme, esta es la única manera. Seguro me siento muy bien. Mira, No queremos molestar. No, no, sí, no me da la opción. Estaba buscando un vehículo. Ok. Um... Sí, estará aquí en. Ok, yes, do it. Continue. ¿Qué me decían? <risa> la siguiente oración podemos usar un nombre de ella. ¿Qué nombre le podemos poner? Ah. Vanessa. Bye. Vanessa. Grecia. Bye. Grecia. <laughs> Vanessa develops. Softwares. Finish? No, no, no. continue. Almost, continue, almost, con almost. continue, continue, sorry. Okay. Uh, sería Kit Trapper. Ahí vamos. 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 Ahí a seguir al algo así. Llevar registro, llevar control. Llevar, ah, nosotros no Ah, ok. No, okay. Puedo... Yo no llevo control de. No puedo llevar control. Uh -huh, de... de todas las actividades. Bueno, pero es muy largo. <risa> <risa> de. Yo de los alumnos, no, son muy largos. Yes, a student. Correct. A student. Uh -huh. Bueno, sería o, 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 de student. Ah, ¿cómo? Sería, no sé si sería así, o hay una versión más corta, pero sería I think. No, no, no. 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 I don't keep track to student. I don't keep track of all students. Así sería. Of 
all the students have work in Syria. Comma? I don't keep track, I don't keep track uh -huh. of all the students. Oh. Of. Uh -huh. Of all oh. the students. De estudiantes. De estudiantes. Yeah. De todos los estudiantes, creía yo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Of all, uh -huh. of all the students. Vamos a reparar con privilegios. Necesitamos un nombre. Ajá. Querida, este, no sé, Harry Lies. Eh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Finish. Yes. Yes, ok, one minute. Solo me falta el grupo uno que no ha terminado, creo. Yes, give me a second. Ya lo vamos a reunir. Yes, give me a second. Dasen no iría a repair computer. Dasen no iría después. Pero el computer, casi nada más. Como estamos hablando del presente. Cuando pregunto, una, las tienen todas, ¿no? Sí, yo las anoté. Las anotaron. Finish. Sí. Finish. Sí, yes. Ok. Yes. Vamos una, cada uno. Eh, it's up to you. Ustedes deciden si uno o, o cada quien lo va leyendo. Yes. I will call the group. Group number one, group number two. Y ahí ustedes deciden, right? Ok. Ok. Ok, voy a, solo me faltaba el grupo 2. Ustedes son grupo 1. <ríe> yes? Yes. Yeah, copy. yes, ok, yes. good. Solo el grupo 2 me faltaba. De, solo les vamos a dar un minuto y nos vamos. Yes? Ok. okay. Bueno, nosotros solo ah, tres yeah. el micrófono, ¿verdad? Eh, yes, eh, Cindy no, dice no que va, a ella solo va a escribir, dice Cindy. Y Paola se acaba de incorporar ahí. Ahí nos está escuchando. Yes. Sí, teacher. Yes, I understand, but don't worry. Ahí usted siga el grupo. Ok. Lo que ellos digan, ahí usted sí, diga. Ok. Ok, va, un minuto y nos vamos. Ya vienen los demás, ahí viene. Ya. Okay, ready? Ladies and gentlemen, group number one. Action. He knows the police. Policies? Policies. Continue, continue. They know the regulation. You help workers. I help people. She helps the company. They advertise the company. Carlos designs softwares. Vanessa developed the phone. We answer the phone. 
David makes phone call. Makes phone call, right? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Excellent also, right? Okay. Dino has to say congratulations, right? Congratulations, group number one. Nice. Okay. Group number two, negative. Ready? One, two, three, action. I don't write reports. You don't send reports in the morning. He doesn't send email. Carlos and Roberto doesn't carry products too late. Uh huh. Keep track. I don't keep track. Virulais doesn't repair computers. Oh come on, Virulais. <laughs> okay, continue, continue. She doesn't. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't ask for assistance. Okay, very good. Thank you. Notice that when you say she doesn't ask, you don't say the S, right? Ask. No, only ask. Because you're ask. using the auxiliary. Every time you use the auxiliary, no add S, don't add S to the to the verb, right? Cada vez que usamos el auxiliar, no le agregamos la S al verbo. Okay. Now let's continue with the questions. Group number three. Are you ready? Action. Does he install programs? Do you sell products? Do we exchange information? Do you buy new merchandise? Does she receive money? Do you decide what to what to buy? The day goes for products. And do they fix cars? Okie dokie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice, nice. Group one, two, and three. Congratulations. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much, right? Now, these are activities that you probably do in your company, right? Probably. I'm not saying yet. Esto es lo que ustedes hacen, ¿no? Some of these activities, right? Now, let's go to activities that we do in the house, right? So, please, listen. Get up. Uh, get up, right? Get dressed. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Shave. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Come home. Make dinner. Study, watch TV, uh, go to bed, go to bed. Right now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Get up. Get dressed. Take a shower. 
brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Shave. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Come home. Make dinner. Study. Watch TV. Go to bed. Good. Any question? How do you say get up in Spanish? Diana, how do you say get up in Spanish? Levantarse. Excellent. Very good. Claudia, how do you say get dressed in Spanish? Desvestirse. No, vestirse, right? Vestirse. Ah, vestirse, vestirse. <laughs> yes. Get on dress is the vestirse, right? Undress, but in this case it's dress. Uh -huh. Undress is, you know, uh, like in in El Salvador, it's, we use nahuatl, right? Nahuatl we say chulonearse, right? In, in El Salvador, <laughs> undress. But this is the opposite. Get dressed means vestirse, right? Okay, now, uh, that's it, right? Ah, Karen, how do you say put on makeup in Spanish? Eh, ponerme maquillaje, aplicarme maquillaje. That's it, right? Very good. Now, these are the daily routines you make in, in the house. Notice that I can make sentences. I can say, I get up, you get up, they get up, my friends get up, she gets up, he gets up. Or I can make negative, right? I can make negative. I can say, I don't get up. She doesn't get up, etc. etc. Oh, questions. Do you get up? Does she get dressed? Do they take a shower? Do you brush your teeth? Etc. Right? The idea is that you the, the simple present. La idea es usar todas estas actividades usando el presente simple, right? Volunteers who wants to make a positive affirmative sentence, right? ¿Quién me quiere hacer una actividad, una oración afirmativa usando cualquiera de estos verbos? Yes. Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Volunteers. I study in the morning. I study in the morning. Let me copy this. I study in, in the, the morning. morning. Good. Yes, correct. Now, one negative, right? One negative. Ahora hagamos una negativa. Yes. Eh, Beatriz ya no entró al, a la clase. Veamos. Qué lástima. Le estaba dando problemas al internet. Bueno. Ok. Ok. One negative, please. Volunteers, volunteers. Volunteers. Hello, please. hello. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Luis, right? I don't put on makeup. Of course, yes. Of course. <laughs> I don't put on makeup, right? I don't put on makeup. Good. Now, a question. Question, please, volunteers. ¿Quién me hace una pregunta usando una de estas oraciones? I start in the morning. I don't put on makeup, right? Now, question. Do you Do watch you... TV Thank at night? Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Do you watch TV at night? Do you watch TV at night? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Right? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Toso. 
Now, here we have more activities. Free time routines. It's when you're not working, when you're not studying, what do you do? Exercise, listen to music, play football, go out for dinner, go dancing, take a nap. Short. Read. 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 Uh, check the media. Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, etc. Cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, go to the movies and visit friends. So these are the activities we do when we are free, right? Cuando estamos con tiempo libre, pues esto hacemos. Okay. Repeat after me, please. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Tomar una siesta, right? Take a nap. Read. Check media. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Okay, questions? Questions about these activities? No? Good, let's continue. Now, household chores routines. Las cosas que no nos gustan, right? <laughs> okay. Wash the dishes. Clean the house. Do the laundry, you know, lavar la ropa. Take out the garbage. Sacar la basura. Go shopping. Dust. You know, quitar el polvo. Dust. Sweep. Barrer, you know. Sweep. And mop. Trapear, you know, mop. It's not Ministerio de Obras Públicas, no. <laughs> mop is uh, trapear, right? Now, please, repeat after me. Wash the dishes. Clean the house. Do the laundry. Take out the garbage. Go shopping. Dust. Sweep. Mop. Okay, class. Any question? Good. So we're going to practice. Do you like, right? We're going to make this question. Do you like? Do you like? And then you say, do you like exercise? Do you like listen to music, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then you answer with, yes, I do. Or no. I don't, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay? Now, we're going to start with Alejandra. Ready, Alejandra? Uh, you are going to make the question to... Sorry. Déjame chequear eh, solo eh, la asistencia para... Lo... Carla? Carla Lisset? Beatriz? Paola ya se presentó, ok. Paola. Aquí, okay, teacher. Yes, thank you, thank you. Wilson. No, right, ok, good. Now, so, uh, Diana, you make the question to, to Cindy, right? 
Seeing the answer in the in the in the chat. ¿Dónde está Cindy? Vamos a ver. Ajá, Cindy, in the chat, right? So, question number one, exercise. Alejandra? Do you Cindy. like exercise? Sí. Ajá, Cindy, Cindy, do you like... Ah, Alejandra, repeat the question. Do you like exercise? Ok, ahí tenemos la respuesta, la pregunta. Respuesta de, yes, I do. Okay, very good. Now, Cindy, you made the question, do you like listen to music, right? This question goes to, to Diana. Copy, Cindy. Do you like, uh -huh. Okay, so in this case, I will assign better to, to Diana, right? Diana, you made the question to Grecia. Listen to music. Grecia, do you like play football? Yes, I do. Very good. Now, uh, Grecia, make the question to Karen, please. Eh, play football. Karen, eh, do you like play football? No, I don't. Thank you, Karen. Now, make the question to eh, Lucia. Go out for dinner, right? Sen salir a cenar. Eh, Lucia, do you like go out for dinner? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Now, Lucia, you made the question to Luis. Go dancing. Una pregunta, teacher. Yes. ¿Qué, qué es lo que debo, es lo que debo hacer? For example, do you like exercise? Do you like listen to music? Do you like play football? Do you like go out for dinner? And then you made the question, right? To Luis, saying, go dancing, right? You make the question. Usted hace la pregunta. If you want, you can say the name. Menciona a Luis para que suene más personal la pregunta. Luis, do you like... Ah, Lucía. Ok, ok. Uh, Luis, mm, do you like... Dancing. Go? Do you like go? Do you like go? Dancing? Yes, I do. Okay. I imagine Luis dancing, right? Ooh, ooh, yes. Good. Now, Luis, take a nap. The question goes to uh, Veronica. Veronica, do you like take a nap? Yes, I do. Okay. Veronica, now let me, let's make the question to Alejandro. Read. Alejandro, do you like read? Yes, I do. Do you like to read, right? Now, Alejandro, you make the question to uh, Nuria. Nuria, check do you media. like check media? Ajá, Nuria. Do you like it? Do you like? Repeat, Alejandro. Nuria, do you like chat media? I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. El que le gusta andar checando el Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. No, she doesn't like. Nuria doesn't like. No lo sé, Rick. <laughs> okay. Nuria, you made the question to William. Go to the movies. Do you, uh, William, do you like go to the movies? 
No, I don't. Okay. Now, William, you make the question to Alejandra. Visit friends. Alejandra, do you like visit friends? Yes, I do. Okay. No de mucho de vaga, oiga Alejandra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Nice. So uh, I have a question, a message here. Do you like to visit friends? Yes, very good, Cindy. Is let's make the example. Do you like to visit friends, right? Do you like to visit friends? Okay, very good. Now, let's go to the next. Again, do you like? Do you like to? Good. Now, I will make the question personal, right? Uh, Alejandra, do you like to wash the dishes? Um, wash the dish. What do you mean, dash, dash, dish, wash the dish, t-shirt? Lavar los platos. In Spanish. Lavar los platos. Do you no, like to I wash the dish? Oh, come on. <laughs> Alejandra, please. <laughs> okay, Sorry, good. no, I don't. William, do you like to clean the house? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good, excellent. Once a year, right, William? Once a year. Una vez al año, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, right? Okay, now, uh, Claudia, do you like to do the laundry? ¿Qué significa laundry? Do the laundry means lavar la ropa. Do you yes, like to I do, do the laundry? Oh, nice. Yes, I do. Excellent. Luis, please, do you like to take out the garbage? Yes, I do. Mm hmm, no lo sé, Rick. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Eh, Veronica? No, no, no. Eh... Yes, Veronica. Do you like to go shopping? Ya sé la respuesta, Veronica, pero hagámosla por formalismo ahí. Do you like to go shopping? Yes, ¿Le gusta ir de compras, Veronica? Yes, I do. Ah, ok. Automático. Yes, I do. <risa> Con 20 pares de zapatos, pero quiere más de compras, más zapatos. Yeah. Ok. Thank you, Verónica. Now, uh, let me see. Do you like... Claudia, do you like, do... do you like to dust? Do you like to dust? Yes, I do. Ok, nice. <risa> But you like does right uh -huh. and let me see mm, alejandro do you like to sweep do you like to sweep yes i do okay thank you and finally the question goes to um lucia lucia do you like to mop Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. Very good. Now, I have a question here. Teacher, do you like to go shopping? No, I don't. I don't like to go shopping. It's very boring for me, right? Boring. You know, muy aburrido, yes. Especially when you go to buy clothes, right? So, we men are like this, right? Los hombres somos un poco así que... Ah, esos pares, yeah. Ese par de zapatos. Ah, esa camisa, yeah. That's all right. More, more simple. <laughs> yes. But then the women, color, size, style. Okay. Tráigame otra, tráigame otra 20 blusas. Me la voy a medir, permito. <laughs> okay. Very good. Now, let's continue. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Now, let's introduce the frequency adverse. Frequency adverse. What is a frequency adverse, right? Is necessary a frequency adverse? No, not necessary, right? Not absolutely. 
But sometimes when you want to show the frequency of the action, right? Cuando quiero eh, mostrar la frecuencia de la acción, con qué frecuencia hago algo, right? So I use frequency of, of average of frequency, sorry. Always is 100%. Always is 100%, yes. Usually is 90, 80%. Often is like 70%. Sometimes is like 40%. Rarely, raramente, right? Like 10%. And never is zero percent, right? ¿Con qué frecuencia lo hace? Never, nunca. Right? Good. You see, for example, Alejandra, she never washes the dishes. Never. Never, right? You see? So, frequency over, right? And um, in the case of uh, Luis, he always likes to Clean the house, right? Yes, I remember saying. Good. Now repeat after me, please. Always. Always. Usually. Usually. Often. Often. Sometimes. Sometimes. Rarely. Rarely. Never. Never. Good. Thank you. Now. Where are you going to put the frequency of the adversary of frequency? You are going to put the frequency, the adversary of frequency between the subject and the verb, right? Lo vamos a colocar entre el sujeto y el verbo, right? For example, I always run. Siempre salgo a correr. I always run. She usually eh, does the, the laundry, right? Ella usualmente... Lava la ropa, right? Uh, let's say Alejandro never takes out the garbage. <laughs> no, no, right? Um, nunca saca la basura, ¿verdad? No. O le, uh, no. <laughs> le toca a alguien más ahí en la casita. Sí, <laughs> alguien más. Ah, ok, es que good. Es que tiene, tiene hora el camión. Ah, bueno, Cuando bueno. Ya me voy, ya no ha pasado todavía. Okay. Convenientemente, ¿verdad, Alejandro? Convenientemente. <laughs> Okay, very good. You see? Now we're going to see more examples. Check it out, please. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. You never do, right? Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I always wash the dishes. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. They sometimes take out the garbage. Take garbage. out. Take out. The garbage. The garbage. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. They sometimes take out the garbage. They sometimes out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. We rarely go shopping. You never dust. You never Dust. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Frequency other, between the subject, between the subject and the verb. Siempre va a estar entre el sujeto y el verbo. Hay algunas excepciones, pero aquí, para no confundirnos, siempre entre el sujeto y el verbo. Okay? Good. Questions? No questions? Okay, let's continue, right? Good. Write C when it's correct and write I when it's incorrect, right? And if it is incorrect, make the correction, right? Vamos a leer las oraciones usando los adverbios de frecuencia, right? Solo recuerden la clave, yes? Entre el sujeto y el verbo. 
entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿ok? Good. Eh, make screenshot, please. Hagamos captura de pantalla, chicos. Captura de pantalla. Ready? Ok, good. So listen, eh, vamos a ir leyendo las oraciones. Si están correctas, ahí sí las dejamos. Pero si están incorrectas, le ponemos una I de incorrecto y le corregimos cuál es el error. Right? Ok. Now let's make the groups. ¿Ya hicieron la captura de pantalla, chicos? Yes. Okay, aquí estamos. Group number one, please pay attention. Group number one. Eh, Cindy, Grecia, Verónica, Luis, en Paula. Group number two, Alejandra, Alejandro, Nuria, William. Group number three, Claudia, Diana, eh, Karen en Lucía, please go, 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 go. Okay, Claudia, please. Ok, la primera está incorrecta. Sí. Es incorrecta. Sí, la primera sí. Porque never tiene que ir después del sí, ¿verdad? Sí, entre el medio del sujeto y el verbo. No correct, sería. Así, ¿verdad? No correct. Ok, good. Not correct, yeah. I, the letter I. The letter I, incorrect. Let, incorrect. let me share with you, yes. Incorrect. Look. C is correct, I is incorrect, right? La número dos, la número dos es correct, correct. Sí. Sí, tú seis. Sí. Esa está correcta y es, sí. La siete está mal, a ver. Sí, está mal. Uh -huh. Y la ocho está mala también. Sí, también. Uh -huh. Entonces, correcta solo sería las dos y las seis. Y las seis, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, but you have to correct the mistake, right? Pero tienen que corregir el error, right? Ah, uh, please, no please. Sé. Okay. Ahí dice trío, ahí dice que tú van a hacer, mamá. Ah, no, ya había made corrections. Ah, uh, hacer correcciones. Entonces, la uno. La otra tendría que hacer. He never set he made. Lleva de listen open. Y, y de ahí es este. They often listen to music, dice ahí. Siguiendo la lógica esa de, de que ya sí, no debe ir al medio el, el adverbio. They often dice, listen to music in the afternoon. En la tercera. En esta parte de ahí, este no, no está el, el adverbio en medio del, del sujeto y el verbo. 
Entonces sería letra I. Letter I. La forma correcta sería. Ah, vaya, vaya. They often, they often listen. To music. To music. In the afternoon. 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 Four. Four. Dice. Dice. She goes sometimes to parties on Friday evening. She sometimes goes to party on Friday evening. Sometimes in the middle, maybe. She goes to parties. Así dijo. No, she, el, el sometimes, el sometimes, ahí el sometimes, no está el medio. De, el orden siempre es así, ¿verdad? Que siempre debe ir al medio de, del sujeto y el verbo. There is an exception sí. with sometimes. Eh, hay una excepción con sometimes. El sometimes puede ir al principio y puede ir en medio también. Pero ustedes pónganlo toditos entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿ok? Para no confundirlos. Solo con sometimes. Sometimes Solo. se sale del guacal, así sí, correcto. Pero igual, pónganlo entre el sujeto y el verbo también. ¿Yes? ¿Y pero en, en qué ocasiones se podría usar antes? Cuando usted quiera. ¿En cualquiera? Sí. Sometimes. Usted puede decir, she sometimes goes, o puede decir también, sometimes she goes. Okay. Sin okay. coma. Sin coma, yes. Ok. Ok. I sometimes things can be after lunch. No, sí. Sí, Número siete. ¿Alguien más? Número siete. Sería my friends usually. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. My friends usually. usually play soccer on Sunday. Lo siento que yo casi no les ayudo, pero es que de verdad me cuesta esto. ¿Por qué? No sé, me cuesta entenderle. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. <risa> Grecia, listen, it's, it's simple, right? Fíjese que lo que tiene que hacer es identificar siempre el sujeto. Por ejemplo, he, we, they, Pedro, María. Bye. Y luego el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo aquí? Mire, en la uno es chequear. En la 12 es visitar, en la 3 es escuchar, en la 4 es ir, en la 5 es ir, también me go. El sujeto es más grande, pero ahí está el verbo. Entonces, si usted identifica el sujeto y el verbo, lo demás ya no hay problema. Solo va de bajadita ya. Ok. ¿Sí? Y en este caso es algo nuevo porque no lo habíamos hecho antes. Estamos metiendo ahí, entre el sujeto y el verbo, estamos metiendo un un adverbio de frecuencia, ¿no? Entonces usted dice, bueno, he es el sujeto, checks es el verbo. Entonces, en medio de estos dos le voy a meter un adverbio de frecuencia. Puede decir, la número you always, they, they sometimes, etcétera, etcétera, ¿ok? Good, los dejo trabajar. Ok.
¿Quiere intentar la número 8, Grecia? Vaya. Vamos. Sería... We always, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Estar, no sé cómo se pronuncia, in the morning. Exercise in the morning. Exercise in the morning. Sí, correcto. Congratulations. Very good, Grecia. Nice work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go together, right? Eh, solo voy a ver cómo están otros grupos y después nos vamos a la sala principal. Ya. Okay? Okay. Relax for a second. <laughs> Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Entonces nos yes. vamos ya pa. Vámonos ya pa, entonces. Okay. Ready? Here we go, right? Number one. Group number one. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, right? So what is the correct? He never checks email. Correct. Very in good. In the evening. He never, right? He never checks email in the evening. Good. Group number two, please. We rarely visit friends on, on weekends. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Is correct. Good. Good. Number three. Group number three, please. They listen often to music in the afternoon. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. It's not correct. Okay. So what is the correct sentence? They, they often, often listen to music in the afternoon. They often, right? Listens to music, listen to music in the afternoon. Good. Group number one. Number four. Correct or incorrect? Group number one. Incorrect. 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 What is the correct sentence? She sometimes goes to Paris on Friday. Friday evening. Sometimes. Goes to parties on Friday evening, right? On Friday evening, good. Good. Now, no group number two, please. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 
Incorrect. Good. So the correction is? Oscar and his wife always go dancing. Always. Eh, sorry. Always go dancing, right? Very good. Group number three, please. Number six. Number six is, co is correct. Correct, group. Group number three, congratulations, right? Group number one, seven. Oh. In incorrect. incorrect. Oh. So what is the correct one? Uh -huh. Give me a second to hear my friends. Usually, right? My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. Good? Nice. And number eight, please. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. This is group, group number two. Incorrect, right? Uh, what is the correct example? What is the correct? Group number two? We always... Uh -huh. Exercise in the morning. Always. Very good. Y yes, that one. Eh, yes. Eh, eh, la, eh, la número ocho traducida en español es nosotros hacemos, siempre hacemos eso en la mañana. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero ahí no está el hacer, no que solo dice we exercise. Uh, no, okay. es que lo que pasa es que ejercitarse se puede hacer de las dos formas, do exercise o solo exercise. Nosotros ah. siempre nos ejercitamos o nosotros siempre hacemos ejercicio, right, in the morning. Pues ah. Ambas se pueden hacer, ejercitarse o hacer ejercicio. Yes. Ok, teacher. Okay. Yes, ok, good. Now, please, repeat after me, everybody. Una pregunta. Ajá, Alejandro. En inglés, los días siempre van con mayúscula. Eh, sí, todito los días van con mayúscula. Ok, de lunes a jueves con mayúscula y de viernes a domingo también. <ríe> ok, todos van con mayúscula, Alejandro. Es una regla. Los meses del año también. Los nombres de los lenguajes también. English, Spanish. Mire qué mal, Alejandra. ¿eh? Se burla del mal ajeno, ¿verdad, Alejandra? <ríe> ok, very good. No, sí, sure. <ríe> Como ve Alejandro todo inocente y lo molesta, está bien. <ríe> Muy bien, entonces, eh, eh, también, obviamente, Alejandro, los, los, los nombres de países, ciudades, etcétera, etcétera, ¿sí? Siempre con mayúscula, es una regla. Yes. Sí, me, me generaba la duda porque, bueno, en español no va, no es obligatorio. Pues, no, 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 no. En, en realidad siempre debe ir con minúscula, al menos, sí, que, comience, con minúscula. Al menos que comience una oración, va, pero de lo contrario siempre va en minúscula. Ok, now, please, repeat after me. No more questions, ¿no? Ok. He never checks email in the evening. We rarely visit friends on weekends. They listen to music in the afternoon. She goes to parties. No, excuse me. She sometimes goes to parties on Friday evening. Come on, repeat, everybody, repeat. Oscar and his wife always go dancing. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday.
We always exercise in the morning. Ok. Good. Y aquí tenemos otras expresiones de tiempo que indican frecuencia. Solo que estas oraciones van al final. Every day, todos los días, right? Yes. I take a shower every day, for example, right? Me baño todos los días, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, raise your hand, please, if you take a shower. Levante la mano los que se los que se bañan. Levante la mano los que se bañan. Levante la mano los que se bañan solo los sábados. Quiero ver quiénes son. Vamos a ver. Ah, ok. Yeah, I check. Very good. Only Saturday. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, right? Good. So, every day. No, every day. Once a day. Una vez al día, right? I listen to music. Once a day. Una vez al día. Once a day. I play football twice a week. Dos veces por semana, right? En mi caso, por la edad, pues una vez a la semana. Ok. Now, eh, she goes out for dinner. Ella sale a cenar, right? Three, three, three times a month. Tres veces al mes. Three times a month. She goes dancing on Saturdays. Todos los sábados va a bailar, right? She takes a nap once a day. Una vez al día. Toma su siestecita. Once a month, every Sunday, every weekend, every day, every moment, every hour, every time, every Sunday, every Monday, etc. etc. Right? So repeat after me, please. I exercise every day. You listen to music once a day. I play football twice a week. She goes out for dinner three times a month. She goes dancing on Saturdays. She takes a nap once a day. My sister reads once a month. I go to the movies every Sunday. I visit friends every weekend. Okay. Now let's make personal question, right? I will make the question how often, right? Let me see. How often do you? And then you answer, right? You say every day, once a day, once a week, etc., etc., right? Now, Alejandra, how often do you exercise? I exercise twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week, yes. Claudia, how often do you listen to music? How often do you listen to music, Claudia? Say in Spanish. In English. In Spanish? How often? Okay, once a day. Like this, huh? Once, once a day. day. Repeat. A day. I listen to music. I listen to music once a day. Excellent. Thank you, right? And for 
for seeing the two, the same question, Cindy, how often do you listen to music? Ahí, escríbanos. Now, next one, please. Uh, Diana, how often do you play football? Perdón. How often do you play football? Um, I... No, la verdad. ¿Cómo diría que no? <laughs> que no, no juego. I don't play football. I, do, I don't play Negative, football. ¿no? Recuerda Ajá. que ahora decimos oraciones negativas, ¿verdad? Sería, I, don't, I... I don't play football. Ah, ok, good. So, how often, Diana, do you go out for dinner? Eh, ¿Qué significa dinner? Cena. Cenar afuera. Aunque sea ahí en la esquina, en la, en el, en el, en la champita, las pupusas, pero a cenar afuera. <risa> eh... o, en el, o en el patio. No, no, no. Cenar afuera quiere decir ir a un restaurante, ¿no? How often do you go out for dinner, Diana? Eh, I, on Sunday. I go out for dinner. I go Sunday. I Así. go out for dinner. I go out for dinner. No, no lo entiendo. Ese es yo voy. Uh, I go. I, out. I go on Sunday. I, I go out for dinner. Es que la acción out es for esta. dinner Sunday. Aquí está, mire. El verbo go, ahí dice goes, pero como es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente es go, go out. Se lo voy a enseñar aquí. Ok. Permítanme. Ahí está. Go out for dinner, ¿ve? Go out for dinner. ¿Sí? Ok. okay. Vamos a ver ahora. Permítanme, vamos a llegar aquí. Ok, good. Now, eh, Diana, how often do you go out for dinner? Go out for dinner. And I go so out. I, I go, go out. I go for out dinner on Sunday. Okay, again, again. I go out for dinner. I go out for dinner. Uh -huh. uh, on Sundays. On Sundays, correct. Thank you, Diana. Now, please, Grecia. How often do you go dancing? How often do you go dancing? I go dancing every time. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, who's next? Karen, right? Karen, how often do you take a nap? Karen? I take a nap. Eh, es válido decir every day o every, every night. Day. Mm, every day or every night? Every night. Thank you. Every night. Thank you. Now, Lucia, how often do you read? How often do you read, Lucia? ¿Con qué frecuencia lee? Mm. Uh, I read. Uh, I read. Mm -hmm. mm. Once a day, decir... once a month, every week, every weekend, every Saturday. Uh -huh. Para decir siempre. I always read. Uh, ¿Cómo? I always. I always. Read. O puede decir también así, mi Lucía. Yeah. I read every day. I read every day. I read every day. Very good. I read every day. Now, 
Uh, who's next after Lucia? Luis, how often do you go to the movies, Luis? Um, I go to the movies once a year. Oh, oh. very good, Luis. Now, uh, Veronica, how often do you visit friends? Verónica? Perdón, perdón, teacher, me dio tos. Ah, ok, no problem. Sorry, sorry. No, how often do you visit friends? I go it never. I, I never visit? I, ne I never visit friends. Ok. Very good. No voy a estar en casita, ¿verdad, Verónica? <laughs> ok, good. Next one, please. How often do you... Ah, I have the question for Cindy, right? How often? I don't listen to music. So yes, I like it. Oh, okay. Eh, Cindy dice que le gusta escuchar música, pero que el celular se le ha arruinado. Se le arruinó el micrófono y la música. Y bueno, ni modo, hay que escuchar lo que escucha el vecino, Cindy. <laughs> okay, now... Next one, right after Veronica, we have Alejandro. Hi, Alejandro. How often do you play football, Alejandro? I play football once a month. Once a month, okay. Thank you, thank you, Alejandro. Now, eh, Nuria, how often do you go out for dinner? I go, <coughs> perdón, I go out for dinner on day. Every day. Every day. Every day, right? Okay, todos los días va a cenar. Yes, excelentoso, right? Un día en La Pampa, otro día en la Hacienda Real, otro día en El Pollo, nice. Very good. Good. Eh, Cindy nos acaba de hacer un comentario ahí sobre alguien que, si lo mencionamos aquí, es el innombrable en esta clase. Es Bad Bunny, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. <risa> okay. Bad Bunny le va a la alianza. Ah, hey, psh, no me ofenda, ni a los de la alianza me ofenda, por favor, con ese tipo. <risa> yo lo vi con la camisa de la alianza. Eh, no, 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 yo lo vi con la del FAS. Con la del Madrid, lo vi. <laughs> Photoshop. Ok, very good. Continue. Who's next? Eh, Nuria ya participó, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Quién sigue ahora? A ah, Paola. Hello, Paola. How often do you go dancing, Paola? Um, I go... Um, I go to dancing. Ajá, I go dancing. Once a month. Once a month. Okay. Good. Nice. Nice. Now, um, William, please. How often do you take a nap, William? I take a nap. I take take a nap. Uh, on Sunday. On Sunday. <laughs> Only on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thank you, William. Thank you very much. You see? Now, let's erase everything here. Okay, we finished, right? Now, we're going to see a material. Dijimos que íbamos a ver la plataforma. Ahorita vamos. Había un ejercicio que nos estaba costando, ¿verdad? Permítame. Ok, ahorita estamos viendo la plataforma. Ok, uh, regálame un segundito porque cuesta que abra esta forma del aprendizaje. Ok, mientras abre la plataforma... Eh, 
Vamos a elegir quién se va a quedar conmigo diez minutitos. Creo que Luis. Ah, oh, yes. Luis, can you? ¿Puede esta noche, yeah. Luis? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Very good. Cool English, right, Luis? Nice. Excelentoso. Good. Let me see. Vamos a ver si abrió la plataforma. Ahí estamos ya. Good. Here, right? Ahí estamos ya. Uh, vamos a ver. Estamos en la unidad 2, ¿verdad? Daily routines. Vamos a ver el chat. ¿Cuál era el ejercicio con el que teníamos problemas? Ok. Teacher. Permítame. Ajá, sí, yes, yes. ¿Cuál era? Yo justamente en esa, la seis, en la primera. La seis. No me da la respuesta. Vaya. Ahí mismo. Ah, sí, es que dijimos aquel día de que el problema era que a veces no le poníamos el punto final. Yo le puse ahí todas las formas posibles y no me lo agarra. Dicho. Bueno, voy a probar yo, vamos a ver. Ok. I sleep at night. Okay. Vale, vamos a ver. Si me lo, lo voy a enviar. Ajá, mire, a mí sí me lo da. ¿Será porque le puse bueno. punto? Punto final. Yo le puse, igual, le puse dicho, por... de todas, la primera vez que la hice, todas las hice correctamente y todas me las tiró incorrectas. Ah, y pero, pero lo ya salí dijimos... haciendo como cinco veces y la primera siempre me la tiró mala y la hice de esa manera. Ajá, pero a mí me le salió bueno, mire, le puse el punto final. Tuvo suerte. Quizás la primera letra no le pusieron mayúscula. Ajá, la podría puse. ser. Pero no estaba pasó. leyendo comentarios a veces por mucho espacio, quizás. Sí, ah, tal vez dejaron. Pasó... Ajá, a Verónica. Que, que en una, el... en este caso creo que sí me salió bien, pero en una en la que lleva apóstrofe, hay uno que va inclinado hacia la izquierda y uno que va inclinado hasta la derecha. Uh -huh. Entonces, o sea que no es tilde, no es tilde. En, no, mi, en mi tablero porque... está la par del cero. A la par sí, del cero está el apóstrofe. Ajá, dos hay que ver para qué lado va el, el... correcto. Y Ajá. en una también me fijé que le había dado un espacio más. Sí, sí. Por... En, ese, en ese caso, para que no les arroje error, solo copien el Dustin y lo pegan así como lo tiene la plataforma, así sí lo acepta. Pero cuando uno lo pone con el teclado de uno, como que le arrojaba error. Ok, entonces la cuatro solo es de sombrearlo. Dale copy y se pega. Ok. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si la 4 me sale a mí. Si dasen speak portugués. Con mayúscula, miren. Lo que le decía Alejandro. Que todos los lenguajes van con mayúscula. Y punto final. Vamos a ver. Enviar. ¡Tarán! A ver, ¿y por qué a mí sí me da? ¿Qué pasó, amiguitos? Referencia. <ríe> oh, <come on. ríe> Solo porque voy de la alianza, ¿verdad? Me salen bien las cosas. <ríe> Solo porque le vamos al Barça. <ríe> ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, ¿le salió ahí la número uno? ¿Quién era el que no le salía? ¿William? No. Sí, te chavió. Yo, Solo que si yo probé ahí. O el punto, la mayúscula. 
Pero mire, yo igualito lo puse, ¿ves? ¿eh? Sleep at night. Punto Con final. Todas, todas me salen buenas excepto la uno, pero voy a seguir probando, no sé. Qué raro, de verdad que está raro, porque ya vio que a mí me salió bien, ¿ves? Ahí sí, revisé los espacios o las mayúsculas, minúsculas, el punto, eh, todo estaba correcto, pero no sé, voy a volver a probar. Please, please, intente probar. Ok, ¿hay algún otro ejercicio en el que tengan problemas? Porque si no terminamos con un listen, ¿verdad? Un ejercicio de escuchar, listen. Yes? Ok. Vámonos pues a practicar. Good. Ace for it. Good. Yes, done. Now, this is Marsha daily routine, right? What does Marsha do every day? What does she do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Pay attention, please listen. Page 40, exercise 8. Listening. Marsha's weekly routine. Listen to Marsha talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work, so I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Okay, again. About her weekly routine. Check the... Do you get up early every day, Marsha? Do you get up early, right? Now, what is it? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sunday? Good. So, uh, when does Marcha get up? Early? Saturday? The weekdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday too? And... Okay, listen. Yeah. Listen again. Listen again. And on Saturday. Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. So it means every day except Sunday, right? Now, go to work. Pay attention. Go to work. So I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, 
And I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. Okay, let's go back. I guess get up Routine. early. Is, uh, Check the days she does each thing. Similar to Monday to Friday, but pay attention, please. Do you get up early every day, Marsha? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. Uh-huh. Go to work? When? Saturday. Saturday. On Saturdays. Excellent. Also, Saturday, right? Now let's continue with exercise. So, I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. So, I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the... Uh-huh. What days does she exercise? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday too. Play tennis. Mm -hmm. So, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday. Okay. Listen, please. So, I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. Uh-huh, correct. Now, see friends. So, I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and... Uh-huh. Saturdays, and that's in the... Friends and family. Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays. And, and when does she see friends? Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Okay. That's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. Okay. See family? When? Sunday. Sunday. Los domingos va para chalate, yes. Okay, good. And study? When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. When does she study? Every day. Every day, Every day right. Every day. Every day. That's it. Okay, thank you very much, class. Good practice. I like it a lot. I only stay with Luis. The rest of you, I say goodbye. Have a good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Take good care. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Let's go to Mimir. Bye bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. See you. See you. Take care. Okay. Hi, Luis. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? I'm very good. Very good. Yes. Uh, so what do you think of the class? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. Oh, good. So do you study at the university, Luis? Or... No. No, no, no. You look you look like a university university student, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. So uh I don't know if you have any question about any structure, affirmative, negative question. No, no, I don't no. have question. Everything is clear. Everything is clear. 
sure any yes. any word any no no <laughs> okay good <laughs> Todo está claro. oh, yeah, yes 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 because uh, you're good in english luis i mean have you studied before yes oh nice that's why right nice yes because your pronunciation you speak very clear and you understand of course so that is good right Thank because you. you know sometimes i cannot i cannot speak full 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 english i can speak like 90% english because sometimes especially with grammar some students don't understand as a teacher i don't understand that's why i sometimes speak some some words you know some some explanation in spanish but but i see that you understand full english and that's good yeah. that's good Yeah. Okay, what else do you do to practice your English, Luis? Do you listen to music? Do you read? Do you speak with friends in English? And I sometimes is, uh, speak English with my friends. Uh -huh. Okay, so they speak English? Yes. Okay, nice. And what about music, Luis? Do you like music in English? Yes, I like it. Classic musical, you know, old style, 80s, 90s. Uh, classic. Okay. Guns N' Roses. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago. Okay, yes. That's my music, Luis. I, I, well, in fact, I learned English with music. So yes. That's why I recommend to all my students, you know, that Practice music in English is the best, the best, the best, because you like it, you learn fast, you learn pronunciation, listening, everything, everything is there, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, according to the scientists, uh, when you listen to music, the music goes to a special part in the brain that is permanent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why, Luis, that sometimes you are working, you are, you are in the park, you are in the supermarket, Ah, you remember a song and you start singing, right? Mm -hmm. Billie Jean, that's my love. Okay. And then <laughs> you say, what? Ah, it's because it's in your brain. It's here, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why my recommendation is that you have to learn one song every week. One song every week. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. My recommendation, right? Also, another thing you can do, uh, Luis. Sorry? Uh, another thing, other activity you can do is uh, watch movies. But my recommendation, Luis, is that you watch movies in, in English, right? And But cartoons. For example, I know I, The Ice Age, uh, Sing, Pets, Shrek, Toy Story, etc., etc. So... My recommendation. Why cartoons? Because they speak very simple. The structure yeah. of the of the of the movies in in uh, cartoons, right, is very simple, not complicated. Uh, for example, when you when you listen uh, or when you watch Fast and Furious, right, you mother. <laughs> yeah. What? yeah. They speak like this, right? They they speak what we call in English slang. Slang is caliche. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so the problem with the slang is that uh, when you go to Canada, it's one, one slang. When you go to Australia, it's one. England, another. Uh, New York, one. Los Angeles, another. Oh, come on. <laughs> Even here in El Salvador, for example, Luis, uh, uh, Guacal, for example, in, 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 in San Miguel is Paila. Baila, yeah. Uh -huh. in, in San Salva we call charamuscas, but in Santana they say topollillos. Topollillos, yeah. <laughs> in San Salva we say jacks. Las niñas están jugando jacks, right? Uh -huh. But in Santana they say eh, las niñas están jugando chintas. Chinta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only in El Salvador that is very small. Now imagine in, in United States. So, but... Some words that are popular, uh, yes, we can learn, right? Slang. But before to go to slang, right? Antes de aprender el caliche, right? It's better you you know the structure. You know, because uh, to be honest, Luis, uh, in the real life, we don't speak like that, right? If you go to United States, for example, you say, 
Hello, my name is Luis. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Do you like English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. I mean, no, right? Mm. Uh, this English is, is English of a book. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like when you go to the, to the school, you say, mi mamá me mima. <laughs> Pepe me mira. <laughs> <laughs> the same here, right? Mm -hmm. Basic structure. Basic structure, right? But in the practice, it's another thing. In the practice, is you invent. You invent, right? You, yes. You incorporate. Uh, it, it, I guess it's the same in Spanish, right? The we in the way, right? In el camino, right? You 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 invent mm -hmm. the words. You you adapt the 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 verbs, the the subjects, the preposition, right? And you make you make sentences, right? The same in Spanish, the same in English, right? Okay. And another thing I want to tell you about English is the next. But pay attention to this. In English, okay. they use auxiliaries. Do, does, did. The verb to be is an auxiliary, right? Yeah. But in Spanish, we don't use auxiliaries. Mm -mm. We use the verb conjugation. Yeah. That's why, for example, uh, some people that from United States that they are learning English, please, they come to El Salvador and they say, yo ir al Salvador y yo allí en El Salvador comer pupusas. Y mis amigos, <laughs> mis amigos comer pupusas. Y yo mañana querer comer pupusas. Ayer yo comer pupusas. Comer, comer, comer. <laughs> comer, uh, yeah. Uh, because the, the verb in English is static. Yes. You say, I eat, you eat, they eat, my friends eat, 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 eat. No transformation, but. But in Spanish, the verb conjugation, ooh. Ay, como. Como, comemos, comi comimos, hemos comido, comeremos. I mean, that's why Spanish is one of the most difficult languages in the world. Yes. But English, Luis, easy. Easy. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luis, any extra commentary before we finish? Okay. Any extra commentary? And no. 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 Suggestions for the class? Alguna sugerencia para la clase? Mm. Any complaint? Alguna queja? No sé. No, quejas no. No, no, no sure. Quejas si no tengo. Ah, sure. <laughs> okay. And what part of the class do you like the most? ¿Cuál es la parte que más le gusta de la clase? Eh, practicar. Okay. Conversations. Conversation and... Okay. Okay, nice. Yes, and I like when, when I say, Luis, help me with the conversation. Luis, you are Pedro, you are the secretary. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then you participate and the other students say, ah, oh, Luis can speak, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, right? Okay, Luis, thank you very much for staying. And, and I, have, I feel sad because I don't help you. La idea era ayudarle, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I feel happy. Because you 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 understand, <laughs> and that is the best, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Have a good night. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? I see you tomorrow, teacher. Good Take night. Care. God bless you. Take care.